Come here. For many, farming is a way of life. The farm was actually out at O River and uh, Copus Road area. John Barton has been here all of his life. The Memorial Hospital, January 31st, 1949. And a large chunk of that was spent in the fields, farming garlic, cotton, onion, wheat, and sugar beets with his father and brothers just south of Bakersfield for decades. At that time, we was farming about uh, 1,200 to 1,400 acres. But as he sits down with us on this warm day in May, that way of life is in the past. And, and I loved farming, and I loved it with all my heart. John is now retired after he discovered lumps on his neck and got the news that no one wants to hear. When, you're, when you hear the word cancer, you know, all of this starts going through your mind. Okay, now what? You know, you, you don't know what, how bad it is. I don't know how long I had it. John was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma back in 2015. And he says that it can all be traced back to a product that's been integral for farmers for decades. They said it was a safe assault. Roundup. You may recognize Roundup from your local store or commercials advertising the product for use in your backyard. Draw the line with the Roundup Sure Shot wand. John and his family used a form of Roundup in bulk to knock down weeds in their crops. You know, the average consumer will get a gallon of diluted Roundup, you know, and they'll spray it around their house, you know, for killing weeds. We would spray in an average in one day a thousand of them. And he says that the weed killer is now killing him claiming that constant use of Roundup on the farm led to his cancer diagnosis. For many, many years, they said, hey, this product is safe. There was never a warning label for us to be concerned about. There were days that uh, I would be spraying weeds on the farm and my pants would be wet, my boots would get soaked. And John is not alone in this story. In fact, the Kern County man is part of a state litigation against Monsanto, the company that makes Roundup, who is also facing federal litigation. Attention, if you use Roundup weed killer, there is some important health information you should know. A multitude of lawsuits centered around the theory that glyphosate, the main ingredient in Roundup, can cause cancer. We're well into the third year of the litigation now, and it's uh, full steam ahead from here on out. Pedro Misfandiari is an attorney at Baum, Headland, Oresti, and Goldman. The Los Angeles firm is involved in over 300 active suits against Monsanto at both the state and federal level, including John's. And Misfandiari says that there are over 2,000 suits across the nation. The first step in the litigation against Monsanto would be to prove general causation, that Roundup causes cancer in humans. After that, they would move into specific causation, trying to prove that Roundup caused cancer in specific cases like John's. But as with every story, this one has two sides. Roundup herbicide by Monsanto. There's never been a herbicide like it before. And it has been the most widely used, uh, widely adopted, and safest herbicide in the history of agriculture. Scott Partridge is the vice president of Global Strategies for Monsanto. Some talk about glyphosate as being as transformational as the plow. And in the midst of litigation from seemingly every side, Partridge talked to us to defend the product. Uh, not any association between glyphosate and, uh, and adverse health, health effects, much less cancer, Brandon. Roundup, the herbicide that gets to the root of the problem. At the root of this problem is a war of words and science between two sides, each hanging their hats on studies or publications that they say are correct. A main focus from the litigation is a report from the International Agency for Research on Cancer, or IARC. The 2015 report classified glyphosate as a probable human carcinogen, but Partridge says that that's an opinion, not science. It is an opinion, and it is simply at odds with every single study, every regulatory agency, and 40 years of safe use. Meanwhile, Monsanto focuses on something called the Agricultural Health Study. That study is the largest epidemiological study in history. A 2017 publication from the Journal of National Cancer Institute concluded that the Agricultural Health Study showed, quote, no association between glyphosate and any solid tumors, including non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. They were crystal clear. There is no association whatsoever in the real world between exposure to glyphosate and any form of cancer. But remember, this is a war of words in science. That study is an outlier uh, as of all, all of the epidemiological studies. There's eight or nine. There are also accusations of foul play on both sides, each claiming manipulation of scientific data, collusion with agencies, or hiding of findings. And we are confident that Monsanto has acted in a negligent uh, manner Monsanto has been re shown reckless disregard towards life. They're trying to try this case in the media. Frankly, I think, Brandon, it's one of the reasons I'm talking to you. They recognize they're not winning this case in the courthouse, so they're trying to win it on the 5 o'clock news. 
Hey, come here. As the war of words and science continues ahead of court dates this summer, John Barton sits in Kern County. I had three sons. Worried about more than just his own health. They were all out there in the summer months, you know, spraying the weeds and, you know, using this product, you know, and, and really with no protection. Worried about how this way of life may have affected his life and the lives of those that he cares about. You know, you need to make the, be able to look at that product and make the correct judgment of whether you use it or not. And we never had, we never had that opportunity as a parent, as a farmer, or as an individual. 